Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to import custom graffiti into Jesuit Radio for the PC and I'm going to show you how to make the background transparent and resize any image you'd like to import. There's two programs you're going to need for this. You're going to need to download GIMP from here and a program called Jetset Radio Custom Graffiti Manager version 5. And I will put the links to both of these programs in the description. Once you've downloaded those, open Jetset Radio and go to Graffiti and go Create New Graffiti. Now, you're going to need to create a graffiti for whichever size you'd like to import. So if you'd like to import a custom large, create a large. And just make it blank. And save. Um, that's all you need for Jet Set Radio for a while, so you can just get out of that. Now, you're going to need to open GIMP. And I'm going to show you how to remove the background and resize. So open the program... No, not program. Open the image you would like to use in GIMP. So here's mine. Um, to remove the background, just click Layer, Transparency, and then Add Alpha Channel. Now you're going to want to select the Fuzzy Select tool, or the Magic Wand tool, and just click in the background. And I'll press the Delete key. And then just keep doing this. And that's the background removed. Now you're going to want to change the size. Now there's the exact number of pixels that it needs to be, depending if it's a small, a large, or an extra large. Um, in the custom graffiti manager program downloaded, it will tell you, it will remind you of all the exact pixels, so you don't need to remember them. But I remember for a large, it needs to be exactly the right amount of pixels. So just select this tool here called the scale tool, and just click on your image. And now you can drag it here, or you can actually input the exact amount of pixels in these boxes. So I'm just going to drag it down to near the size which will be 256 width and 128 height. Now depending on the image you're going to use, um, when you resize it, it might look, it might like ruin the image by stretching it. So you're going to want to choose an image which is like a suitable shape. So since the large is a rectangle, don't like use like a tall vertical image because that will stretch very badly. Now you're going to want to resize the canvas as well. So just go to image, canvas size, and just type the amount of pixels. So 256 by 128. Press resize. And this is done. So you're going to want to save this as a PNG file. So you go to file, export, and then just save it wherever you want and just make sure you call it .png so whatever you want to call it then .png I'm just going to call it this and export and that is your image done, that's simple next you're going to want to open Jetsa Radio Graffiti Manager press run now I've already like done mine here, so yours won't look like this. The first thing you want to do here, you need to. It says Jetset Radio save folder. The program like puts the graffiti in the right folder, so you don't have to. But first, you have to open it. So you click open here, and I'm going to show you how to get to the right file. Um, you go on local disk C. You then want to go on program files times 86. You're going to want to scroll down until you find Steam. Let me just here it is. And now you're going to find user data, user data. I mean, <laughs> and now you're going to have a lot of numbers here. Um, you're going to want to search these folders until you find the number which is two o five nine five o. Um, it might be different for you, but in my case, it's in this second one here. Just scroll down, and here is here it is. Just click on that and just press OK, and that is the directory done. And that's all the hard bit over. So now what we do is simply press replace, just wait for it to load, and then just select the image that you made. So here's mine. Open. Press OK. And there it is. And that's all you need to do. So you can just minimize this. But before it's going to work, you 
you need to restart the game like to save the changes so just close that okay now I've restarted the game it should be done just go to graffiti like you would normally just wait for it to load and it should be in the the green E one so just open that and there is your graffiti and that's all you need to do so thank you for watching I hope this tutorial helped if you have any questions if I didn't explain anything clear enough just ask and I'll be happy to explain thank you goodbye